Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Today I'm bringing you some bathroom decorating ideas. And what I have done is I've spliced together some videos that I've done previously because I have done a makeover on all of my bathrooms, which I'm going to be bringing to you very, very soon. But this video is going to give you several ideas on how to decorate your bathroom. So hang tight and I'm going to take you through them right now. Okay, so the first thing I did was to change out my knobs on the cabinets. Um, it definitely adds a different look to the bathroom. So that's decorating tip number one. Over here near the countertop, what I have done is I've changed out the mirrors and the lighting fixture. And I'm gonna give you a closer look at that in a minute. And I do like my countertop to be clutter free. And so I do have a video showing how I organize this bathroom with all the essentials. And I'll have a playlist at the, <clears throat> I have a playlist in the description box of this video with all of the full videos, which will have links to everything and it'll tell you where everything came from. But this mirror right here, these two mirrors are actually from Lowe's and so is the light fixtures as well as the uh, light plate covers everything in here is from Lowe's <laughs> um, the vase there is from Ross and I got a tremendous deal on that I think it was only $20 so these are your countertop ideas like I said the full video is in the description box over here is the area above the toilet. I do have two shelves over here. So I'm gonna show you how I decorated this area and incorporating some storage for my Q-tips, cotton swabs, and cotton balls. And I also incorporated some towels. I got this four piece set right here, super cute from Kirkland's a while ago. I think it's been at least about four or five years ago. So I'm not sure if they still sell them or not, but these could easily be DIY as well. It'd be a fun DIY project to make those. I'm just going to add a couple of candles and that's going to complete the first shelf here. And the picture that you're looking at, that is from Ross as well. Now down to the second shelf. What I have done is I incorporated some towels and some washcloths and I also incorporated a reed diffuser. Now these are your shelf decorating ideas. So let's move on to the tub area. Okay, over here by the tub, I'm going to flank the tub with two of these beautiful orchids in the gold vases. And that's going to be uh, that's going to be a statement piece kind of like when you walk into the bathroom, the first thing First thing I see is when I walk into the bathroom is the tub area. So I put these two orchids here, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite flowers to flank this mirrored mo mosaic piece right here, which I, it really opens up the space in the bathroom because it reflects a lot of light. And this piece was purchased at Ross a while ago and I believe it was around $69.99. Now, if you wanna see the full bathroom tour, like I said, there will be a playlist linked in the description box where you can check out the full details of everything and where everything came from. Now, over here, I'm gonna show you what I did with my curtains. I like playing around with curtains and doing different things. Um, I did hem these curtains to where they drop right at the base, at the top of the tub so that it doesn't interfere like when I fill the tub up with water and when I'm in there. 
I did hang the curtains all the way to the ceiling as close as I could get because it does add a wow factor in the room. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you a couple different ways that I've styled the curtains in here. So guys, if you like decorating, home decor, interior styling, or anything home related, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram and I would love to have you follow me so that we can connect on a daily basis. I'll have my Instagram link down in the description box as well. The next space that you're going to see is another countertop in my guest bathroom. So that's going to be coming up in a second. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up to let me know you like this type of video. So over here is the countertop in my guest bathroom. So I'm just going to show you some ideas of how I put the decor together on the countertop. The mirror and the mirror and the light fixture is exactly the same as the ones in my master bath. You'll get to see that in a minute. And I think it's always important to put some kind of greenery or some type of flower in every arrangement that you do because it just adds life to the area. So I do like adding some type of greenery or flowers. And these beautiful candle holders right here, I did find those at Burlington. And I believe they were $20 each. It was an excellent, excellent find. This paper towel holder right here, I DIY'd this. This was just a regular napkin holder from the Dollar Tree. And I glued two mirrors on either side to be able to hold the paper towels for the bathroom. And it works really well, still using that. It's just a nicer way of displaying your paper towels versus using it on a roll. And I did incorporate this candy dish into my guest bathroom so that if someone comes over and maybe they wanted a mint or something like that, um, I just left that in the bathroom for them. So I'm going to show you around the bathroom a little bit more and then I'm going to take you over to the shelf and the tub area in this bathroom. Okay, let's go over into the shelf area. So I did DIY these shelves and I have the links and everything to the brackets in the description of the full video, which is in the playlist. Um, this sign, Be Our Guest, I actually just DIY that as well. Now over here with the shower curtain, I am using tassels. I use tassels all throughout the entire house. You'll see that in almost all of my videos in like almost every single room. <laughs> I just love the look. But I did hang these uh, tassels to pull back the actual curtains because I did regular curtains and a shower curtain in here to make it more of a grand look in the bathroom. And I'll give you a better look at that in a minute. But I love using curtains in my bathroom, especially a guest bathroom that doesn't get used much. So I did hang the curtains all the way to the ceiling. I did have to extend the curtains somewhat because I do have nine feet ceilings. The piece that's in the back there, that is from Ross. And as you can see, it does give the bathroom a really grand look. And I do like that. 
And I have made over this bathroom, so you're gonna see another version of what you've seen here today. Now here we go, I am back in the master bathroom. And what I'm showing you here is I had incorporated a teal theme in the bathroom. So this is just another uh, set of ideas that you could use if you wanted, if you wanted to incorporate color into, your, um, into one of your bathrooms. So I'm gonna give you another look around this bathroom. And as you can see, the cabinets, I did restain the cabinets. The cabinets used to be a honey oak color. And I'll give you more details on that in the actual video. Thanks for coming along with me today as I showed you the progression of all my bathrooms. Like I said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I do have a lot of videos coming up and I would love to have you there. Guys, be safe out there and I will see you in the next one.